Welcome back, boys and girls. And today I want to show you my Christmas present, a brand new freezer. This is by GA and it's called Garage Ready Freezer. So this is supposed to run on, even on the extreme weather and temperatures. And the capacity on this is 21.3 cubic feet. So this is the largest one they have. And the height is 76.5 inches, so it should be 6 feet and about 4 inches. So I'm 5 feet and a half. It's a little bit taller than me, but this is a really good size freezer. I was using this freezer, I think it's a 17 cubic feet freezer for my venison. But because of pandemic, and now we're putting more stuff into the freezer, we ran out of room. So I asked my wife, what should we do? And my smart and beautiful wife told me, why don't we just get one for Christmas? So here it is. I'd like to give you a quick tip on how you can store more meat or stuff in the freezer. So this is the shelf right here. And then I just added the rare. And this rare is actually a metal sh shelf like those shelf up there on that wall. Just cut it and then just make a rail here and then this will catch more stuff. So it will hold more, actually about twice more. Before they used to slide off because I have everything in a vacuum seal and they would just slide off. It used to drive me crazy. So this is the idea that I came up with. Just tie it with a zip ties and it will hold really nice and sturdy. So as you can see, and I got more than venison. And so having other stuff in there, I'm kind of running out of room. So that's my tip. Okay, I really like the fact that on this freezer, you could actually see the actual temperature. And according to my loving wife, if you want to store meat for extended time, you want to have it at least minus four Fahrenheit. So this really worked out well for us. I can actually control the temperature. So my wife loves it. Now, only thing that I don't like about this thing is that this has these glass shelves. So I can't make the lip or the rails to hold the meat. But I think having this big freezer only for my venison, I don't think I'm gonna need it. But still, that's kind of a shame. This is 116 quarts uh, storage basket that I had sitting around and I don't really need it anymore. So I have idea to cut this and use it in my freezer so I could kind of create a rail. So the stuff that we store in the freezer won't just fall out. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. It's a perfect fitting right there. You should be able to catch all the meat that's gonna fall out. And as long as you pile the meat on here, it's gonna hold the lip here. So that should work just fine. Just the way I want it. I just need to make one more and put it up here, then I'm good. It turned out perfect. So nothing goes to waste in my house. It took me one hour of thinking and about 10 minutes of work and let's take a look. Voila! Now we have shelf here with the high lip so nothing's gonna fall out. And this row here used to be up here in that slot but I brought it down here so now this also has uh, you know the lip here so it's gonna store a lot more stuff in here and it worked out great. I like it. I also want to show you how I organize my meat so that you won't get mixed up because most hunters know when you have so many meat in there, it gets very confusing and finding something that you need could kind of go crazy on you. Okay, I am done organizing my meat and let's take a look. On the top, we have all the steaks, back straps and heart and some ground meat. In the middle, we got a lot of current style, tteokbokki, burger patties. And we got stew meat, chili meat. And down here, we have all the shank. And we have bones here for the bone broth. And this is all the uh, a pre-cooked meal for Rachel to take home with her when she's going back. And this is holding really well, so it worked out really well for me. So everything is all good. Oh yeah, I am done, baby. My wife saw this and told me I was genius. That right there is worth all the 10 minutes that I put in. All right, let's take a look at the old freezer. Now it's all full of other stuff than venison. Now this is my wife's job to organize everything. 
unless she asks me really nicely and I have to say yes baby. My daughter Rachel is an MD, she got her COVID vaccine already and she tested negative right before she came up so she's home with us and our son Joseph, he's been home since March because of a pandemic and he's working from home. He actually moved back home and he's planning to move out once COVID is over. But since Joseph's been with us for nine months now, we're eating a lot more meat. So I might have to buy a bonus tag this year and a couple more deer. We'll see. Merry Christmas. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy your life with what you got. But mostly remember, Jesus came to save us, not to judge us. See you later.